Hi everyone, I'm here at St. Andrew's Church in Magal for one very special reason and that reason is that here they have a gate which is a memorial to 63 soldiers who gave their lives during World War II. Their names are inscribed on this stone here and also this stone here. They were people just like you and me, men from Magal around the area who fought in the war and who gave their lives. Now, I don't know about you, but when we think of the world wars, when we think of Remembrance Day, we can often sometimes feel detached from everything that happened. We can feel like, yeah, it was an amazing thing that they did, giving their lives to save so many others and give freedom. But then because it happened so long ago, because we didn't really know them, I guess we can kind of feel detached and disconnected from their sacrifice. Now, Jesus said this in John chapter 15, verse 13. He said this to his disciples. It's 11 o'clock, sorry. Greater love has no one than this, for someone to give his life for his friends. Jesus said, of all the kinds of love that there can be, that is the greatest kind of love. For someone to give up their life for another person. And on Remembrance Day, when the clock strikes 11, that's what we remember. We, re we remember all those men and women in the past from World War I, World War II and other wars who've given their lives to save others. Greater love has no one than to give his life for his friend. But you know, that always makes me think of a greater sacrifice, the greater sacrifice, where Jesus gave his life. But the Bible doesn't describe it as Jesus giving his life for his friends. Paul, a Christian, writes this, for while we were God's enemies, we were brought back to God, made right with God through the death of his son. While we were God's enemies, Jesus died for us. You know, when we think of people who gave their lives, the greatest sacrifice of, of all time was Jesus giving his life for humanity. You see, my sin and your sin is like a crime against God that deserves punishment and judgment, but Jesus, was perfect, innocent, and yet he chose to willingly die and give his life as a sacrifice for me and for you. You know, the sacrifice of the soldiers is so incredible. I don't know if I'd be brave enough to give my life the way that they did. But you know, the freedom that they bought for you and for me with their lives, as amazing as it is, it ends at the grave. One day you and I will join them in the ground and we will be just like they are. The freedom they bought is fantastic and so incredible and special and worth remembering. But it ends at the grave. The freedom that Jesus bought with his sacrifice goes beyond the grave. The freedom that Jesus bought doesn't just end when our lives end. The freedom Jesus bought for you and for me when he died on the cross wasn't just for our life now here on earth, but it was to take us through death so that we could have heaven secured as a gift. The Bible also says this in Romans. It says the wages of sin is death. What we get for sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Salvation, the word the Bible uses for it, being saved from sin, forgiveness, isn't something we earn. It's something God gives as a gift, free and undeserved. Not because we're great, 
but because he's great. And because he's shown us the greatest love by sacrificing his life, not for his friends, but for his enemies, to bring his enemies into being his friends, into his family. So this Remembrance Day, let's remember the men and women who died to save our nation, to give us freedom in this country. But let's also remember the sacrifice of the one who died to make us right with God. So that instead of receiving the death that we deserve, we're actually brought through death to the other side. If we trust and believe that he's the only one who can do it for us. So this Remembrance Day, what are you gonna remember?